All right, in this video, I'm gonna to explain to you what a web hosting account is, why you need it, and how to get it all set up. All right, let's get started. Okay, so a web hosting account is basically like if you had a, a business and you needed to rent an office building, um, essentially this is basically renting space on the online world. And why you need it, I mean, you could set up a, a free blogging account at blogger.com, but you're gonna have some restrictions. There's still certain things that you're not gonna be able to do. Plus, if Google ever decides to just shut down their blogger.com uh, website, you would lose all of your data, all of that hard work you put into it. Whereas if you own your own web hosting, you have complete control over it. You could advertise on it, you could sell products and services. You can even decide to flip the website if you decide to wanna sell it in the future for a profit. So here's how we get started. You're gonna go ahead and go to hostgator.com or you can use my affiliate link below this video. And I've also provided a promo code for 25% off, which I'll show you how to apply. So you're gonna click on this button called View Web Hosting Plans. And it's gonna bring you to this page. And this page is basically explaining some different options that you can use. Now, I'm gonna to recommend to you the baby plan. And the reason why is the hatching plan is great if you're only gonna create one website. But trust me, I've learned through experience that once you start learning how to create these websites, you're gonna to wanna to create more than one. So a baby plan is perfect because it says right here, unlimited domains. So basically you have one web hosting account and you can create more than one website on the same hosting account. So we're gonna go ahead and go with baby plan and you can pick different selection options. You can either go to a month to month program or you can purchase six months, one year or three year terms. You can basically pay ahead of time. And obviously the longer the term, the more uh, money you'll save. In this case, we're gonna just set you up with the one year plan and we're gonna click order now. So they're gonna go to this order screen and basically you already have a domain which we showed you how to purchase on GoDaddy. So you're gonna click this button and you're gonna type in the web address that you had already purchased. So in my case, I'm gonna type in anthonytran.biz And then you're gonna go ahead and confirm that you have the baby package um, and you can change the billing cycle here if you wish. You're gonna go ahead and create a username and create a PIN and basically fill in your billing information. Next, you're gonna scroll down and they're gonna already preset for you a uh, purchase for a site lock and a code guard, which is a, a backup program. Um, you can purchase these things. However, in this case, I'm trying to give you the least uh, the, the least expensive option. So we're gonna go ahead and unclick those right this time. Now, as you can see right here, you have, they already preset a snappy coupon. Um, so your total price is $95.52. However, if you use my promo code, my access pass, and click validate, your price drops down to $89.55. So it basically is a 25% off coupon, originally off of a price that would have been $120. So uh, it's a great thing. And as you can see right here, it says 24 hours, seven days a week, you get 365 days worth of support. You can call them, you can live chat with them, you can email them. That's why I love about HostGator because uh, they have awesome customer service and it's a very inexpensive way to first start off an online business. So you're gonna go ahead and click, I have read this and then click create account. So great, now that you purchased your hosting account, you're gonna get an email that looks something like this. This is a very important email and you should definitely save it somewhere. Um, you're gonna wanna save these login uh, addresses as well. The first one is your billing system. So if you ever need to change how your billing system is, you wanna be able to access this link with your username and password. And then you're gonna also have your control panel login screen, which you also want to save and maybe bookmark. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this and we'll see you on the next screen. So this is your control panel's login screen. You're gonna enter your username and temporary password that they provided. Okay, when you enter, you're gonna see a screen that looks like this. And I'm just gonna say, no, thank you. And click no, I'm fine, thank you here. Next, I wanna show you how to change your password. You're gonna to go to this section, it's called preferences, and you can click change password. So go ahead and type in, you're gonna close this box and then go ahead and type in your old password provided and you're gonna type in a new one. And you can click change your password now. 
So there you go, your password's changed. And that's pretty much the end of this video. And in the next video, we're gonna show you how to set up an email account.